Hi, this is Congressman Kevin McCarthy. I wanted to take a moment to congratulate our community's high school seniors on their graduation. I know that things look quite different this year. Quarters and semesters have been cut short while online classes have become the temporary norm. I also know that many of you were looking forward to end of the school year celebrations like prom, grad night, and graduation ceremonies before moving on to college or pursuing other opportunities. But remember, just because you're not currently experiencing a traditional senior year does not, by any means, make your accomplishment any less significant or impressive. In fact, you should feel incredibly proud that you've made it to the finish line while overcoming this new unprecedented obstacle. Your years spent in high school are some of the most formative of your life and you should be proud of what you've accomplished here because you have certainly made us all proud of you. So to the class of 2020, congratulations. I have no doubt that after this, you can really overcome anything. Congratulations and God bless.
Good evening. Welcome to Citrus High School's Class of 2020 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. My name is Scott Braden, and I serve as the principal at Citrus High School. And on behalf of all of us here at Citrus High School, we thank you for sharing in this very special evening, albeit a bit unique in light of COVID's 19 pandemic. But even so, we celebrate the students of our amazing high school and these amazing students, we give you the utmost respect. Let me speak, first of all, to the parents, guardians, and caretakers. Thank you for not giving up on your students. You've sacrificed so much and you've provided so much for your student to be able to be in a position to graduate and you all are to be commended. So on behalf of the graduating students, we have a small token of appreciation for you. And to receive it at the conclusion of this virtual graduation commencement, CHS will be facilitating a drive-through diploma distribution in the parking lot at the Citrus High School. So while in the car, your student, with, along with your student, you will be handed a gift by one of the CHS staff members. And also at this time, students will receive their respective high school diploma. Again, parents, guardians, and caretakers, a huge thank you from your students and from the CHS team. And now I'd like to speak to the graduates. But before I do, I would ask that you put on your cap and tassel, put that on your head during this virtual graduation. And you ask, why Mr. Braden should I do that? Because you're gonna be utilizing this cap and tassel in symbolic fashion at the very end of this ceremony. Trust me, it's gonna be meaningful. Graduates, tonight is your night. You've worked so hard for this day and we're very proud of your accomplishments. Tonight is called the commencement. It's the end of the high school experience, but it's the beginning of a great new adventure and season in your life. Many of you have turned your stumbling blocks into stepping stones and you've turned your obstacles into opportunities and you've pushed yourself to achieve your goals. And so tonight we honor you, we salute you, each and every one of you for becoming a high school graduate. Mrs. Rivera serves as the Dean of Counseling at Citrus High School. One of her many responsibilities is to oversee the scholarship committee. And tonight we have some scholarships and awards that the committee wishes to honor. Mrs. Rivera, please. Thank you, Mr. Braden. Good evening. Tonight I have the honor of presenting some scholarships to our graduating seniors. The scholarships being awarded come from different local clubs and organizations in the Porterville community. On behalf of the Norman Norris Foundation, a $100 scholarship is being awarded to Carla Oropesa. On behalf of Mrs. Viva Gult, the Francis Noble Gult Scholarship for $200 is being awarded to Junior Paniagua. On behalf of the Eric Hewitt McQueen family, the Eric Hewitt McQueen Memorial Scholarship goes to Carla Figueroa. I would now like to invite William Garfield, Tule River Tribal Council Vice Chairman. He will be presenting full ride scholarships to some of, some of our Tule River Tribal graduates. Congratulations to the Citrus High School graduating class of 2020. Good afternoon, my name is William Garfield. I am the Vice Chairman of the Tule River Tribe. And on behalf of the Tule River Tribe and the Tule River Tribal Council, we would like to honor you today and celebrate your achievements. High school graduation provides you with a great starting point to your adult life. And we here at the Tribal Council would like to let you know we're still by your side, whether you join the workforce or you continue your educational pursuit. In addition, the tribe would like to award you a fully paid scholarship of up to 10 semesters of an approved educational or technical studies uh, facility. Also in our culture, at birth, we're wrapped in a blanket. This will signify shelter, protection, and comfort. So today we want to honor those same values and offer this blanket to you and reassure you that our tribe will always be with you on your journey through life. So wherever you go, whatever you become, always go with your heart. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Garfield. We would also like to honor our Citrus Strong students who have been recognized as Student of the Month throughout the school year. Students of the Month 
students have earned a medal that represents this prestigious award. Our Student of the Month recipients are for August, Joshua Guerra. For September, Carla Figueroa. For October, Mark Magana. For December, Nicholas Gonzalez. And for January, Angel Lopez. Please join with me as we celebrate these young people. Additionally, these young people will receive their certificates at the drive through portion of our ceremony. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tom Velasquez and I'm a board member. I'm here today to congratulate you on your recent graduation. Through hard work, perseverance, and dedication, you accomplished one of your many goals. I know you have a lot of goals and ambitions in your life. Find those that make you happy, that you're passionate about, and to be the best you can be. Master that goal. And finally, give thanks to your family, your friends. And also, give thanks to the administrators. Through your potential, it provides them the motivation to work tirelessly to help you fulfill those goals. And finally, thank you. Thank you for letting me be a part of this celebration. Good luck and stay safe. Citrus High School has always made an effort to make the commencement exercise very personal and very authentic. And to do so, teachers have traditionally read narratives about each student during the ceremony. Tonight is no different. So as the teachers introduce the graduates, they do so in a spirit of honor and they do so in a spirit of recognition. Please. Good evening, my name is Mr. Kerbo. And I'm the intervention teacher here at Citrus High School. It's my privilege to introduce the following graduates. Would you join me in congratulating Mr. George Bravo. George graduated at the end of last semester. He says that he appreciated the opportunities that he had while he was here at Citrus. George plans to move to Mexico and pursue a career in the medical field. Great job, George. We're really proud of you. Our next graduate to celebrate is Miss Princess Breland. Princess always had a smile, and she would like you to know that she worked very hard to earn this diploma. Princess plans to enroll at Porterville College and work on her AA degree. Congratulations, Princess. Now, would you please put your hands together for our next graduate, Mr. Victor Perez. Victor wants you to know that he is a very hard worker and that he appreciates the CHS staff who were very helpful to him. Victor plans to try a little junior college and eventually work as a mechanic. Our very best to you, Victor. Next, please help me congratulate our next graduate, Mr. Cesar Navares. Cesar was a quiet man, but he was his own man. He played on our CHS basketball team. His mom was also a former student of mine who was worried that Cesar wouldn't graduate. Well, Mom, your worries are over, and a high school graduate stands before you today because both of you refuse to give up. Caesar plans to go to college and have a career in agriculture. Caesar, you have my respect, and we at Citrus wish you the best for your future. Congratulations. Would you now help me celebrate our next graduate, Mr. Tyler Wright. Tyler came to Citrus as a sophomore and would like all of you to know that he was a hard worker who overcame the odds. I have to echo that comment, Tyler. Though he faced a number of challenges in his two and a half years of Citrus, Tyler never gave up, and that is an attitude that will help him be successful in life. Tyler plans to pursue a career in construction. Tyler, we at Citrus salute you. You are leaving a better man than when you came. 2020 graduates, family, and friends, I welcome you to this portion of Citrus High's video recognition celebration. I am Mr. Veers, and I teach English at Citrus High. I want to congratulate the graduates and the parents, guardians, and friends that stood by and supported them through this journey. Graduates, I don't know all the circumstances that brought you to Citrus High as students, but I imagine the decision was made with some uncertainty with you wondering, should I risk going to Citrus High? Life has risks, and graduates, you stepped up to the plate. 
were citrus strong and pushed through to the end. Famous actor Denzel Washington would agree with the courage you have shown to keep fighting to reach your goals. Listen to this quote from him. I've found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks. You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There is no doubt about it. Never be discouraged. Never look back. Give everything you've got. And when you fall throughout life, fall forward. Citrus High 2020 graduates, instead of saying, I've fallen and I can't get up, you stood up to the challenge, took the risk, and are now high school graduates. For this, I commend you. Graduates, it is my privilege to personally recognize the following students. The first graduate I would like to recognize is Maria Anguiano Rivas. I must admit, it took me a little while to notice Maria in my class. She would come into class, get her materials, and was ready to work on whatever lesson I had for the day. She was working, but not pushing herself. Then I noticed a change in her about the end of the first semester. I could tell she had flipped the switch and made a decision to graduate. During the second semester, it was like watching a blossom bloom before our eyes. My hope for Maria is that she continues to bloom at Porterville College while she studies law enforcement. I'm very proud of this young lady. Congratulations, Maria. The next graduate I would like to recognize is Indelesio J. Barones IV. Recognizing Indelesio is easy. He's the most near-perfect student I've had at Citrus High in all my years of teaching. He was a hard worker, self-driven, and positive. He often demonstrated the characteristics of a good family man and Christian toward others. I used to shake students' hands as they came into my class, and it always made my day to know Indelesio was at my door smiling and shaking my hand, excited to learn whatever I had planned for class that day. As he moves on to Porterville College and learns a trade, I know that what will take him the farthest will be the respect with which he treats those around him. Congratulations, Indelesio. The next graduate I would like to recognize is Rodolfo Fernandez Valenzuela. Often, life can become routine, typical, which is how coming to my class appeared to be for Rudy. He would show up each day and quietly attempt to become invisible while sitting next to his friends. I remember thinking, I've got to get Rudy engaged, involved, and productive. My fondest memory of Rudy was when I called on him with the help of his friends during a discussion reading time. I have never seen a brighter red. I thought his head was going to explode. He handled the pressure, and from then on, he began working three times as hard as anyone in the class. That's when I knew he was going to graduate. Rudy has a desire to drive big trucks, and with his newly found motivation, I'm sure it won't be long before we see him rolling down the highway. Congratulations, Rudy. The next graduate I would like to recognize is Eduardo Lizarraga. What can I say about Eduardo? Some people just know how to get things done. When Eduardo came to my class, first came to my class, I noted that it took him about two or three weeks to figure things out. After a lesson, he would quietly and respectfully come to me and ask me if he were doing the assignments correctly. Once he felt, com once he felt confident, there was no holding him back. He would volunteer to be part of every lesson and sit away from other students so he would not be distracted while doing his work. Eduardo has expressed an interest in attending UTI, and if that is the path he chooses to follow, and he works on their lessons with the same vigor as he did on mine, I know he will be successful. Congratulations, Eduardo. The next graduate I would like to recognize is Anita Lopez. 
Anita is special to me because her family is special to me. She came to Citrus already knowing all the ins and outs about our campus. She knew all about Citrus because her boyfriend, Carlos, had graduated from Citrus the year before. As great as it was having Carlos in class, I knew that if he were with Anita, she must really be great. I was not disappointed. I was amazed to watch the courage and strength Anita showed while balancing boyfriend, baby, and school. Anita, you're truly what we call Citrus Strong. I hope you, Carlos, and the baby will continue to stop by from time to time for more family visits. I encourage you to continue pushing forward and with the same courage and strength while attending San Joaquin Valley College on your way to becoming a medical assistant. Congratulations, Anita. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kristen Bartlett, and I am the leadership PE and math teacher here at Citrus High School. Um, tonight, I would like to welcome Carla Figueroa. Carla is a hard worker that never gave up. Carla appreciated all the staff and teachers at Citrus. Her plans for next year are to attend Portoville College and pursue a career in nursing. Congratulations, Carla. Please welcome Jalissa Gore. Jalissa really appreciated how helpful the teachers at Citrus were. When not at school, Jalissa likes to skateboard, hike, ride bikes, and draw. She would like to attend college and eventually work in physical therapy. Congratulations, Jalissa. Please welcome Jessica Lopez. I have had the opportunity to have Jessica in a few classes this year. She is a highly dedicated and caring individual. Jessica plans on attending Portoville College next year and would like to pursue a career in nursing or childcare. Congratulations, Jessica. Please welcome Selena Rangel. I was fortunate enough to get to know Selena last year when she came to Prospect Education Center. Selena is a hardworking student who always tried her best. Her plans for next year are to attend Bakersfield College and pursue a career in the medical field. Congratulations, Selena. Please welcome James Bahina. James is a determined student. He was able to finish up the last few credits that he needed during our distance learning. He would like to attend Portoville College and find a job as a mechanic. Congratulations, James. Please welcome Jasmine Esvajeria Martinez Sagun. Jasmine is an amazing student that I have had the opportunity to have in my classes. When not at school, Jasmine enjoys hiking, gardening, spending time with her family, reading and discovering new music. Jasmine would like you to know that she wouldn't be accomplishing anything without the help and support of her family and the amazing staff at Citrus. She would like to thank each and every single person for pushing her regardless of what might have been going on around her. Jasmine's main goal was to make all of you proud of her. We are all very proud of you, Jasmine. Congratulations, Jasmine. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mr. Espinoza, and I'm a teacher here at Citrus High School. And the first student that I'm going to introduce is Dominic Javera. Since the first time I met him as a sophomore, I knew he was a special student. He always did what was expected and worked hard. He worked so hard that he graduated early because he set that goal for himself. The thing he liked most about Citrus was the staff. He now wants to go on to Porterville College and find a good job. Good job, Dominic. You did it. The next student I'm going to introduce is Oscar Esquivel. He was our first graduate of the 2020 calendar year, something he is very proud of. He always came ready to work hard at everything he did. He especially liked the small campus here at Citrus as well as the staff. Oscar was always a great help to other students who needed a little bit more help as well. He plans on going to COS in the auto mechanics program and do a good job there. Well done, Oscar. The next student that I have the honor of introducing is Anthony Anaya. He is a very mature student for his age. He loved to talk about his native culture and I learned a lot from him. One thing about Anthony is that if he said he was gonna do something, he kept his word. What he liked about Citrus was that it felt like a family. He plans on working and becoming a firefighter. Great job, Anthony, you did it. The next student that I get to introduce is Jason Montano. Jason was a very polite and respectful student whom I got to know very well. He also had a smile on his face all the time. He also liked to make his family smile and laugh. 
He plans on going to CUS and entering the nursing program. He overcame a lot to get to this point in his life. You did it, Jason. You're a graduate. The last student that I have the honor of introducing is Arturo Ayala. Arturo is one of those silent but strong students. He didn't talk much, but he worked hard. What he liked most about Citrus is the staff. He plans on going to PC and learning about business management. Well, Arturo, now you can, because you are a Citrus High School graduate. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Mr. Stahl, and I'm a civics and economics teacher here at Citrus High School, as well as the athletic coach. And today it's my privilege to um, recognize several students here on our campus. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce Mark Magana. Mark, when you came here, you didn't necessarily want to be involved, but you always wanted to help and you always wanted to serve. Because you were a helper and a server, we found a place for you in our leadership class and you gradually began to do the morning announcements and eventually became our student body president. Mark, we saw leadership in you and now I hope you see it in yourself. Mark wants to continue his education and he wants to study within the field of technology. Congratulations, Mark. It is my pleasure to introduce Jose Carrillo. Jose, you've always been a respectful student, and we noticed early on that you were also very capable and that there was no doubt that you were going to graduate. Often, as teachers would say, why is he here? Whatever your reason for being here, we are glad that you were here on our campus, and it's been our pleasure to know you. Jose was our main goalkeeper on our championship, championship soccer team this year, and he plans to pursue a career in engineering. Congratulations, Jose. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Richard Gonzalez. Richard, the first thing I think about when I think of you is perseverance. Richard, I know that there were aspects of your education that were difficult, but I saw in my advisory class that you kept pressing in and you never gave up. That is something that I can really admire and we, as a, um, a staff here at Citrus High School, are very proud of you. Richard wants to become a mechanic and is planning on going to Hartnell College in Salinas. Congratulations, Richard. It is my pleasure to introduce Anthony Ramirez. Anthony, you are a kind and considerate young man, and that is a wonderful thing, that is a wonderful thing to be known by. An entire day could go by, and Anthony would be the only student who would initiate, hello, Mr. Stahl. You're a great young man, and I'm sure you make your family proud. Thanks for being a leader on our campus. Anthony wants to go into the Navy and eventually become a paleontologist. Congratulations, Anthony. It is my pleasure to introduce Daniel Fragoso. Daniel came here midway through the year, and obviously he needed some credits to graduate. Um, a few of the guys on the soccer team told me that he played soccer but I had just had tryouts and there were no spaces on our team. Daniel was patient and started to do his work and get his credits in his classes. A few weeks later, there were some openings on the team and I invited him for an informal tryout. Needless to say, he had skills and I put him on the team. It was a great way for Daniel to feel comfortable on our campus and accountable for his schoolwork. Daniel was a big part of our championship team this year. Daniel plans on going into the Army and eventually becoming a CO. Congratulations, Daniel. It is my pleasure to introduce Juan Aguilar. You are a very, cap a very capable person. When I first met you, I thought he had been brought up to respect and to be kind and be helpful. You've always been respectful and kind on our campus and that goes a long way for us teachers. Thank you for being one of my most consistent defensemen on our championship soccer team this last fall and thank you for being a great example on and off the field. I'm sure your parents are very proud of you. Congratulations, Juan. Good evening, my name is Mr. Abrika. I teach math at Citrus High School. It is my honor to recognize the following students. First up is Nicholas Contreras. Nick was a, one of the early graduates as he worked very hard to finish before December. He is a form formidable ping pong player, basketball player, and a good friend to many. Nick enjoys riding quads in the desert and has a desire to become an electrician. Citrus is proud to announce Nicolas Contreras. Our next graduate is Miguel Sendejas Lara. Miguel is a quiet and reserved individual who prefers to go unnoticed. But underneath his shyness is a fierce competitor. 
Many times he would dominate the ping pong table with a take no prisoners attitude. This same attitude he would take on to the basketball court and soccer field, for he is quite the, the athlete. Miguel's desire to work in the construction field. Congratulations, Miguel, you are a high school graduate. Our next graduate is Carla Oropesa. Carla started with Citrus late in the year, but she was all business. She is kind, helpful, and full of determination. Carla was always willing to help her fellow classmates, not just with schoolwork, but also to discuss their future plans. Carla's immediate plans are to join the US Army, for she has a great dream to become a registered nurse. Citrus is proud to announce Carla Oropesa. Our next graduate is none other than Captain American himself, Alex Peyron. I've had the pleasure to work with Alex for over a year. I've seen Alex mature into a strong young man with tremendous abilities and a bright future. Alex is not the type of person to back down from any challenge, whether it's ping pong, basketball, or simply lifting weights. He is a competitor. He's currently serving our country as he has enlisted in the U.S. National Guard. Alex is highly goal-oriented with a strong desire to be the next Citrus Millionaire. Congratulations, Alex Peron, you are a high school graduate. Our next graduate is Alejandro Torres. Of all the Citrus students I've had the pleasure of working with, Alex is one of the most industrious when it comes to his entrepreneurship. He is eager to move forward with his life and his two businesses as a barber and musician, which already are successful. Alex's business mindset will no doubt propel him to succeed as he continues to take calculated risks in his business ventures. Congratulations, Alex. You are a high school graduate. Our next graduate is Angel Udave. Angel is the type of student teachers hope to have a class full of. He is respectful, hardworking, and has one of the sweetest temperaments any teacher could ask for. Day after day, Angel will come to school, complete his work, and be a good friend without making a ripple. I have no doubt Angel will be successful in any career he chooses, for he has two characteristics that most adults don't have. He has a good attitude and he's industrious. These two qualities describe Angel in a nutshell and will be the foundation of his success. It is my pleasure to announce Angel as a Citrus High School graduate. Our next graduate is Ulysses Ledesma. Ulysses has a brilliant mind as everything seems to come pretty easy to him. He is never stressed, always calm, and ready for whatever comes his way. These features will no doubt serve him well in his future endeavors. I, rem I will remember Ulysses for his respectful demeanor, his humor, and his genuine desire to help his fellow classmates. Congrats, Ulysses, you are a high school graduate. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rhonda Cruz. I am the Odyssey Wear teacher at Citrus High School. And tonight I have the honor of introducing some students. The first student will be Noah Artiega. Noah, the honor of being this year's first Citrus graduate is all yours, just as you told me it would be. Of course, that meant I had to go the whole rest of the year without getting to hear, hey, Cruzy Bear, every morning. I know you will be successful working in the field of natural resources, but you do realize that good internet for your video games in the mountains is limited, right? Noah, you stated that you loved everything about Citrus and were sad to leave. Well, Citrus feels the same way about you. We're sad to see you go. But hey, congratulations, Noah. You did it. Okay, the next student I have the honor to introduce is Xavier Aguilar. Xavier, you told me you didn't want somebody to say a bunch of fake stuff about you for graduation. So get ready, here it goes. You started off as that quiet kid that was just doing your work. Or so I thought. Sometimes you were working, sometimes you were watching videos. But somehow you managed to earn enough credits to graduate early. However, you did take forever getting those last three credits and you scared me at the end. You and I know why. I truly believe you will be successful in the construction field or as a mechanic because when you want something, you push for it. So be proud of your accomplishments, Ratatouille. You're a Citrus grad and I'll never forget you. Pablo Garcia, of all the students in my class, you made the biggest transformation. You started in Odyssey Wear as a junior, saying it was hard, and you didn't think you could make up all those credits. You were too quiet to ask for a test. You'd wait for me to notice you needed one. Move forward to your senior year. You began asking for credits, how you could earn credits faster. You even started safely sending me paper airplanes to my desk to ask for a test to be opened. I watched you become self-confident and proud when you saw you were going to graduate early. Now take that attitude into your career choice of law enforcement and you'll soon be the chief of police. Congrats, Pablo. You've earned it. I have the honor to introduce Travis Harris. Travis, your time at Citrus was brief. 
You came in with a plan and you implemented it. Soon you made friends and enjoyed the citrus life, but you never lost sight of your goal to graduate early. In fact, you seemed to motivate and encourage your friends to focus and you all graduated about the same time. Now it's time to implement that saved drive and put your plan into action for the successful life that awaits you. Congratulations, Travis. You're a citrus grad. Okay, for the next grad, I have the honor to introduce Anthony Hester. A man of few words describes you perfectly. When you first came to Citrus, you seemed to be looking for your purpose and you were unsure of your goals. Faced with the task of earning a lot of credits might have been overwhelming at first, but then you discovered you were good at independent study. Being able to set your own pace and choose your courses changed your whole outlook. It was fantastic to see you smile and the look of pride the day you went in and took that, put that cap and gown on and took your picture. Good luck as you achieve the next stage of your life as a welder or truck driver. Congratulations, Anthony, you pulled it off. Okay, now I have the honor to introduce Isaiah Rodriguez. I remember your first day in class as you told me your goal was to get as many credits as you could and then transfer to adult school to finish. I secretly decided you were going to be a Citrus grad. You discovered the combination of classroom work and independent study and your competitive drive kicked in and you broke the record for number of credits earned in a semester. You even wore the Odyssey, King, Odyssey Wear King crown proudly around campus. And now there is no need for adult school because you did it. I had no doubt, and I'd have the opportunity to say this, Isaiah, you're a Citrus grad. I have the honor to introduce Megan Manchaka. When you first came to Citrus, you secretly believed you had something to prove. You were thinking, nobody believes I can do this. However, I saw a beautiful, mature, intelligent young lady who was ready to complete credits and move on with life. You were driven to work independently to accomplish your goal. Then life changed for us all, and there was a delay in your plans. However, as soon as the system was in place, you were ready, motivated, and you quickly earned that high school diploma. Next up, your goals for becoming a CNA and ultimately earning your LVN certificate. Congrats, Megan, you did it. I now have the honor to introduce Junior Paniawa. The junior I got to know this year is strong, quiet, polite, funny, and don't tell his friends, but he's intelligent. He is also patient, which was evident as he tried to teach me how to pronounce his last name. During the year, we discovered we share a love of cars and would often get sidetracked when he was supposed to be working on a lesson. Junior will be taking that passion to the next level as he attends UTI to become a mechanic. Like our conversations, Junior took a slight detour in his education, but decided to get back on track and earn his high school diploma. I expect straight A's at UTI. My Firebird needs a good mechanic. Congratulations, Junior, you're a Citrus grad. I have the honor to introduce Emmanuel Franco. Emmanuel's approach to life is kind of laid back, which is how he started the school year. He really believed his path to a diploma was through the adult school. But with a little convincing, he saw that it was possible to finish that mountain of credits this year, and he kicked it into gear. Through determination, hard work, and a never get up attitude, he pulled it off. Of course, he'd be the first to admit that the help of his personal cheerleader, Keisha Gonzalez, made it all possible. Be proud of what you've done. Emmanuel, you've earned your Citrus High School diploma. Good evening. My name is Ms. Contreras, and I teach art and U.S. history. It is my honor and privilege to recognize the following students. Please help me welcome Danielle Aguilar. Danielle would like everyone to know how hard she worked, but also how much effort it took her to graduate. Danielle also enjoys hiking in her spare time and appreciated how she could keep track of her grad status. She plans on going to PC and get a job in the medical field. Congratulations to Ms. Danielle Aguilar. Our next graduate is Jalissa Johnson. Jalissa has matured and improved throughout this school year. Jalissa, she par participated in leadership and enjoys basketball, working out, and listening to music. She even produced some music in art class. She would like to attend college and become a music producer. Congratulations to Ms. Jalissa Johnson. 
please help me welcome Vincent Andrew Mercado. Vincent had a smile every day and was ready to work. Vincent stayed organized and kept up to date with his credit tracker. He plans to go to Portable College and pursue a career in the medical field. Congratulations to Mr. Vincent Andrew Mercado. Our next graduate is Dana Humphrey. Dana overcame her struggles in high school. She plans on attending college and she'd like to pursue a career in communications and become a 911 dispatcher. Dana appreciated how passionate the teachers at Citrus are and how they help every student. Congratulations to Ms. Dana Humphrey. Please help me welcome Osvaldo Raya. Osvaldo came, overcame a lot this year and proved to his peers that graduating can be accomplished. Osvaldo plans on attending Portable College and getting a job immediately after graduating. He thinks the staff at Citrus are the best. We will miss you, Osvaldo. Congratulations to Mr. Osvaldo Raya. Our next graduate is Carlos Chavez. Carlos came into my class for advisory. I don't know if Carlos truly believed that he could graduate. After pushing him every day through text messages, many phone calls, and Google Meets, you finally did it. You should be proud of your accomplishments because we all are proud of you. I want to thank, congratulate Mr. Carlos Chavez. Good evening, I'm Mrs. Schaefer. I teach science to our students here at Citrus. I wanna congratulate all of our graduates. While I'm disappointed that we didn't get to spend our last two months together, I'll always cherish the time that we got to spend together learning, laughing, and just enjoying each other's company. So for my first graduate, it's my pleasure to announce Jesse Ramos. Jesse had many obstacles throughout high school, but he managed to graduate. He plans to attend Modesto Junior College next year to become a correctional officer. Jesse says he likes Citrus because he can complete his credits more quickly and he enjoyed being on the soccer team. Good luck and congratulations, Jesse. Next, I'd like to announce Damian Robledo. Damian would like to say that he is glad Citrus gave him the chance to graduate. He liked the small campus and felt it was easy to learn, earn his credits. In his free time, he liked to ride his dirt bike. Damian would like to attend school to become a barber. Damian spent a lot of time in my class and I will definitely miss his quiet presence. Congratulations, Damian. The next graduate I would like to announce is Jose Morales Vasquez. Jose would like to remind everyone that he truly is a smart student because he graduated early. He enjoyed his time at Citrus because it was chill and he liked being on the softball team. Jose plans to attend the Universal Technical Institute to become a diesel mechanic. Good luck and congratulations, Jose. Next, it's my pleasure to announce Isaac Rodriguez. Isaac's journey here at Citrus fills my heart. He would admit he came into my class less than interested in learning, but transformed into a lifelong learner. Isaac didn't think he would graduate at Citrus, but is proud that he was the first of his siblings to graduate. During his time at Citrus, he participated in volleyball, basketball, and softball. His favorite thing about Citrus is that the staff never gives up on you. Isaac will continue his education at Porterville College until he's able to enter the United States Army. Congratulations, Isaac. It is my great pleasure to introduce our next Citrus High graduate, Mr. Lissandro Gamboa Duran. I have had Lissandro in my classes for two years and am filled with joy and admiration at his accomplishment and am very proud of him. He doubted that he would ever graduate. I never doubted that he could and would. Lissandro plans to attend trade school and hopes to become a welder. Lissandro shared that he liked attending Citrus because it was a smaller school and with fewer people and a friendly staff. Lissandro has a marvelous sense of humor, a joy for life, and anywhere he is is a happier place. I bet his family and friends have been so happy he's around during these crazy quarantine days. I really missed him when he finished my class, but I'm so proud to announce Lissandro as a 2020 graduate. Congratulations. Have a joyous future. I am happy to introduce our next high school graduate, Mr. Sergio Lua. I had Sergio in several of my classes and recognized how much potential and knowledge he possessed 
And though he believes he has surprised and proved people wrong by earning his diploma, I think he needs to know that I, along with much of the staff, never doubted that he would be graduating. Sergio enjoyed making and being with his friends here at Citrus and plans to attend UTI next year and become a diesel mechanic. I hope you achieve your career goals and find joy and happiness in the future. Congratulations on being a 2020 graduate in the year of quarantine, Sergio. I'm proud to introduce our next graduate, Ms. Chinoa Carbajal, whom I was honored to have in my class and am so proud of. Chinoa finished her credits first semester and said she enjoyed the staff on campus. The feeling was mutual. Chinoa was a joy to have in class. She has a great sense of humor, is insightful and intelligent, and never seemed to let things get her down, despite facing many challenges in her life. Her cool hair, styles, and colors reflected her personality, joyful and bright. She plans to attend college, starting at Porterville College and study psychology. She enjoys being creative and artistic in her spare time, and I'm sure she will continue to create and spread beauty in the joy and joy in the world. Congratulations, Chinoa. You did it. I'd like to introduce our next graduate, Ms. Jasmine Cortez. Jasmine quickly was known for her determination to get her work done. She was quiet and hardworking and willing to do whatever it took to get that goal of her diploma. And she completed that goal. She appreciated all the encouragement she received from her teachers. Next on her list of goals is to attend San Joaquin Valley College and study to become a medical assistant. Jasmine enjoys music, camping, and swimming, and hopefully we'll have the opportunity to do these things later this summer as the crazy year of the COVID-19 pandemic winds down. We wish you nothing but success in the future. Congratulations, Jasmine. You have a bright future to look forward to. I am thrilled to introduce our next 2020 Citrus graduate, Mr. Fernando Lopez. Fernando was really challenged by the restrictions, changes, and obligations that came with COVID-19 quarantine, but he persevered. He stayed the course, and I am so proud of him for doing the work and earning his diploma. He, enjoy, he hopes to continue to work and attend college next year and work towards serving in the Navy in the future. Fernando recognizes and appreciates what an achievement this is. As he put it, he has come a long way he comes from a family of migrant farm workers that come home tired and worn out, but still smiling to see their kids. It is a hard life, but he hopes that with this diploma, he has made his family proud and that they know that he never gave up, that even on the tough days, he gave it, is, gave it his all. Fernando, I am sure they are proud. Congratulations, Fernie. You did it and your future is bright. I'm happy to introduce our next graduate, Mr. Eric Camacho. Eric came to Citrus ready to work and determined to finish his diploma and earn his credits. He was hardworking and a good student who liked how supportive his teachers were. He plans to continue his ed education by attending Porterville College next year and study engineering. Congratulations, Eric. You are a 2020 graduate. Good evening, my name is Mr. Aiken. I teach agriculture and U.S. history. It is my honor and privilege to recognize the following students. Please help me welcome Angel Lopez Rodriguez. Angel would like everyone to know that he was tall and was always working on his credits. He's planning on enlisting in the Marines after graduation. He would like to follow it with a degree in uh, graphic design and architecture. Congratulations, Mr. Angel Lopez Rodriguez. Our next graduate is Luis Lara. Luis wants you to know that he gave it his all. He is planning on pursuing a career in construction in California or Missouri. He felt that his teachers were the best because they actually helped him. Congratulations, Mr. Luis Lara. Please welcome Emily Alvarez. She plans on working and going to college after graduation. Her other option is she is interested in a career in cosmetology. She felt Citrus was perfect in size and was very friendly. Congratulations, Ms. Emily Alvarez. Our next graduate is Angel Lara Ramos. Angel wants to know that he worked hard every single day so that he could graduate early. Angel is going to tell welding school, attend welding school so he can pursue a career in welding or constructions. Congratulations, Mr. Angel Lara Ramos. 
Please welcome John Gomez. John played multiple sports and really liked the atmosphere at Citrus. John plans on working in the agricultural field. John thought the staff was good influence in helping him with his schoolwork and graduation. Congratulations, Mr. John Gomez. Our next graduate is Noel Ruiz. Noel would like everyone to know that he proved them wrong and that he is on his way. Noel plans on enlisting in the Navy with his ultimate goal of becoming a Navy SEAL. Congratulations, Mr. Noel Ruiz. I'm excited to announce 13 graduates. Each of these graduates completed their final coursework the first week of June, the first week of the extended distance learning program while staff entered summer vacation. First on the list is Mr. Enrique Ruiz. At Citrus this past year, Enrique's smile, positive attitude, and incredible humor were evident each and every day. He was one of the most consistent, positive students we had on campus. He's a musician, a soccer player, a diplomat, and a friend to everyone. During the pandemic, Enrique has been working for a solar power company, and yet he has still managed to complete his distance learning coursework. Look out world, here comes Kike. Congratulations, young man. Our next graduate is Adelina Hernandez. Adelina Hernandez, for those of you that know her, you would say that she's a great conversationalist. She's very artistic. She's hardworking. These are fantastic traits to take into customer service career of which she desires to have in life. She's a mover and a shaker and truly a caretaker and she loves her family deeply. Adelina is especially appreciative of Citrus and the staff who motivated her throughout her time at Citrus High School. In her words, Citrus motivated me to do better and to accomplish a lot. Congratulations, Adelina. Entering the virtual graduation stage is Mr. Samuel Higginbotham. Samuel is an intellectual. He's a no-nonsense academic, always full of fun quips and friendly banter. He has a wonderful wit about him, and Mrs. Schaefer says that she absolutely loved having her verbal sparring matches with Samuel. According to Samuel, his favorite thing about CHS was the staff. He plans on attending Porterville College in the fall, and we wish you the best, Samuel. Congratulations. It's my sincere honor to commend Mr. Jacob Vasquez. Jacob is an amazing young man. Unintimidated by work and challenges, he is the racehorse that came out of nowhere, and he won the distance learning race. Although he's humble, and sees himself as just another Citrus High School graduate, we all know that this young man is highly intelligent with a potential that is off the charts. He plans on entering the workplace next year, and we so look forward to the successes that he will achieve in life. Congratulations, Jacob. Our next senior graduate is Mr. Samuel Cisneros. Samuel is a man of few words, but Samuel has a determination and a diligence about him that speaks volumes. His commitment to graduate when he first stepped foot on campus until he graduated never wavered. Samuel is pursuing a career as a barber and he will be attending Barber College this fall. He is thankful for the friendships that he has developed in high school and he will remember uh, these for life. He is also thankful to his family. He's thankful for their support and we congratulate you, Samuel. Our next graduate to the virtual stage is Juan Reyes. There wasn't a day of school wherein staff and students didn't see a smile on this young man's face. His optimism, sincerity, and kindness were observed daily. Juan enjoyed his experience at Citrus, and he loved the flexible scheduling that the school has to offer. He plans on working next year, but eventually he wants to join a particular branch in the military in the very near future. Thank you, Juan, for exemplifying a Citrus Strong attitude at Citrus High School this past year. Congratulations. Please join me in welcoming to the commencement stage Mr. Dustin Fafone. Dustin has a personality that is bigger than life, and that smile is just as big. He has the interpersonal skills to lead thousands of individuals and I wouldn't be surprised if he does so one day in the near future. Dustin is eager to attend 
Universal Technical Institute and become a mechanic. What, the, what he most loved at Citrus was the staff, and one of his most memorable experiences will always be that of being a counselor at SciCon. Congratulations, Dustin. You did it. Our next fantastic graduate is Mr. Brian Martinez. Brian has modeled what it means to be an overcomer and to press in when it matters most. He has a huge heart and a deep desire to make a difference on this earth. Throughout the year, Brian didn't think that he would graduate, but the thought of disappointing everyone who believed in him kept motivating him. Indeed, Brian is a person who he lives to honor others. And although he's not quite sure about his career path, he will be attending Porterville College. Brian loves photography, music, and adventure. Brian, I want to personally say it's been an honor to be your principal, and I will always cherish our meaningful conversations. You, young man, are going to make it happen. Congratulations. Please join me in welcoming another Miracle graduate at Citrus High School this year, Ms. Courtney Watson. Courtney, what a story you are. Wow. You could write a best-selling book on how to give it your all when it really counts in life. Not one part of your high school experience or journey has been easy for you, but you've overcome in episodic fashion. Your desire to persevere has outshined all of your setbacks. And today you're a high school graduate and you've earned every bit of it. I know, I saw the hours you put in. Your incredible sense of for justice, for equality, for fairness, is second to none, and this strength is going to take you places in life. Congratulations, Courtney. Up next is Giselle Baez. Giselle is an articulate, authentic, and approachable young woman who happens to have an amazing passion for music. At Citrus this past year, she was a pillar in Associated Student Body. As for the future, she longs for the day where she will be in the music production industry. As for Citrus, Giselle has the utmost respect, and I quote, I will miss everyone, staff and students, and I'm so thankful for the memories. Giselle plans on attending COS in the fall, and we wish you the best, Giselle. Congratulations. Our next amazing senior graduate is Riley Sanchez. If ever a young woman at Citrus to communicate with excellence in writing, and in expression, Riley is such that woman. Truly an amazing communicator. Riley achieved what was considered to be impossible to herself and to others. And at the last minute of the deadline, she pulled it out and she graduated. Never did she flinch under the extreme pressure. And this ability to remain calm under pressure will bode well for you, Riley, as you move forward in your desires to be a veterinarian. Look out, Porterville College, here comes Riley Sanchez. Please welcome Mr. Giovanni Cervantes. Giovanni's experience at Citrus was favorable and beneficial to him because of the small environment Citrus has to offer. Getting to know the staff on a more personal level was incredibly meaningful to him, especially getting to know Mrs. Contreras, in whom Giovanni has the utmost respect. Next year, Giovanni plans on working and bringing honor to his family. And for those who know Giovanni, he may be quiet and gentle, but he's observant, thoughtful, calculating, and he has a wonderful sense of humor. Congratulations, Giovanni. And last but not least, please welcome Mr. Jordan Williamson. Jordan was asked, what would you like said about you at graduation? And this is how he responded. He tried, he tried, he tried, and he succeeded. Yes, you did, Jordan. You're a high school graduate. You young man are amazing, amazing with computers. You can build them, you can customize them, you can utilize them, and you can game them. You name it, Jordan, you can do it. Jordan sees himself in the computer industry and truly wants to be successful in this world. Jordan, there isn't any doubt in any of our minds that you will be. With your family values, you're going to go places. Congratulations, Jordan. Good evening again. Being the dean, I usually do not get to announce graduates during the ceremony. 
graduates are usually only announced by teachers. But this year, due to the unique situation that we are in, I have been given the honor and privilege to announce several graduates. I would like to honor Angel De La Torre. Even during these difficult times, Angel never gave up. Angel would like to say thank you for pushing him to finish his credits. I know I bugged you, Angel, about your credits, but I never stopped believing in you, and I always knew that you could do it. Angel has goals of one day joining the Army. He enjoys listening to hip-hop music and says that he enjoyed Citrus because it was fun and chill. Congratulations, Angel De La Torre. Next up is Katarina Eady. Kat is an overcomer and has a big heart. She is also one heck of an athlete. Kat played volleyball for Citrus and served as a counselor at SciCon. She was determined to graduate, and she says that she couldn't have done it without her family's support. Kat has plans to join the National Guard and attend San Diego College and become a registered nurse. We are so proud of you. Congratulations, Katarina Eady. Please join me in honoring Selena Camacho. Selena, all your work has paid off. I remember Selena coming to Citrus and saying, I am going to graduate no matter what. And you did it. Selena would like to say that she worked hard to earn her diploma. Selena has plans to join the military, attend Porterville College, and then one day become a veterinarian. Selena enjoys skateboarding, listening to music, and playing softball. Congratulations, Selena Camacho. Next up is Diego Torres Guzman. When Diego first came to Citrus, he was quiet and not too sure if he wanted to stick around. But aren't you glad you kept pushing through it? Because now you are a high school graduate. Diego is a phenomenal soccer player. Diego has plans on attending UTI and becoming a mechanic. Diego says that he will always remember the memories he made with his friends while being at Citrus. Congratulations, Diego Torres Guzman. I would now like to honor Jose Delgado. Jose is a man of few words but he showed the utmost respect while on campus. Jose, you kept going and never, never gave up, buddy. We are so proud of you. Jose has plans on attending Porterville College after graduation. Jose says that he enjoyed Citrus the most because of the way that he was treated with respect by the teachers and is appreciative of the help that he got while at Citrus. Congratulations, Jose Delgado. Now we would like to honor Rudy Franco. Rudy has defied all odds. He has risen above every challenge that was placed in front of him. And now we get to celebrate him tonight as a high school graduate. Rudy says that he enjoyed being at Citrus because of all the help that he received from his teachers. After graduation, Rudy has plans to find a job. Rudy, congratulations, you are a high school graduate. Please help me in honoring Maria Garcia. Maria was a great athlete. She played volleyball and soccer for Citrus. She is tough, but she is also kind. She always had a big, bright smile and was always respectful. Maria also served as a school uh, psychon counselor. Maria would say that she was always being funny and enjoyed cheering people up, and that she did. Maria has plans of attending COS and becoming a nurse. Congratulations, Maria Garcia. Next is Miguel Cisneros Ramos. Miguel would like to be known as a hardworking student, and indeed he is. He completed his credits while being hundreds of miles away during this pandemic. Miguel says that he put his mind to it and made it happen. Miguel's plans is to continue working obtain his carpenter's license, and then become the owner of his own company. Miguel says that he really likes everything and everyone at Citrus because they were always there for you. Congratulations, Miguel Cisneros Ramos. Now I would like to call on Aubrey Bejil. Aubrey has a bigger than life personality, and she is what we call at Citrus a miracle. All the odds were against her, 
but she has risen above them and proved that anything is possible. Aubrey has plans to attend Porterville Adult School to gain a certificate in the medical field. She would like to have a career as an in-home caretaker. Aubrey says that she enjoyed the welcoming Citrus staff. Aubrey was also a part of the Native American Club on campus. Congratulations, Aubrey Bayhill. Up next is Marilyn Brown. Marilyn is a sweetheart. Marilyn is always smiling even when she's upset. I don't remember ever seeing Marilyn without a smile. Marilyn was determined to complete her credits. In fact, she never stopped working until she graduated. Marilyn, your hard work has paid off. Marilyn says that she loves all the teachers at Citrus and the support that they gave her. Marilyn has plans to attend Porterville College. She enjoys hiking and swimming. Congratulations, Marilyn Brown. Next, please help me in welcoming Eric Ortega. When Eric came to Citrus, he was quiet and not too sure if he wanted to be here. But little by little, Eric began to open up. Eric has a kind spirit. He was always respectful and always smiling. Eric was also a phenomenal soccer player. Since this COVID closure, Eric really showed what he was made of. He overcame some really tough challenges over this time, but he came out as a high school graduate. And for that, we are proud of you, Eric. There is no doubt in my mind that he is going to be a, a successful adult and do whatever he sets his mind to. Eric would like to join the Marines and then have a career in law enforcement. Eric enjoys playing soccer and bike riding. Congratulations, Eric Ortega. Fantastic presentation, CHS team. Thank you so much. Now that all graduate narratives have been read, it's time to give a formal proclamation. Superintendent Nelson, members, Board of Trustees, I certify to you that the students presented to you tonight have met the course requirements and the graduation standards set forth by the Porterville Unified School District and the State of California. By the power vested in me, I confer upon you the title of graduate and admit you to this status with all the rights and the responsibilities this title bears. Graduates, would you please stand? Wherever you are, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, families and friends, Superintendent Nelson, Board of Trustees and honored, honored guests, it's with great honor and great pride that I present to you the Citrus High School graduating class of 2020. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from the right side to the left side. Again, from the right side to the left side. Congratulations, you are now a Citrus High School graduate. Thank you for sharing in this very, very special celebration. Each graduate is now invited to attend the drive through diploma distribution at Citrus High School. We look forward to seeing you all and make sure you've got that cap and tassel Make sure that you're in that one vehicle and the CHS team and the PSD team, board members, as well as district officials will be waiting for you. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.